Eyewitness News continues on WUTR. Assemblywoman Marianne Buttonshawn commended local first responders today for the rescue of a young woman last month. First responders from Kunkel Ambulance, Oneida County Sheriff's Office, New York State Police, Maynard Fire Department, Whitesboro Fire and Police Departments, Oriskany Fire, New York Mills Police, and Yorkville Police Department were all given proclamations at Maynard Fire Department in Marcy for their May 16th rescue. During this rescue, these departments all worked together to launch a water rescue team, stage an aerial ladder, and a bucket truck. Whether their career, as we see with our law enforcement that's here today, or if they're on the volunteer side, they're here for us. And this is just an excellent example. Uh, I, I am so honored to be here just to see so many individuals that took part. And as uh, Randy discussed the importance of, of coming together with mutual aid and how it just works so well. Uh, thanks to the first responders actions, the woman was rescued without harm. 100 hope bags were filled today with essentials, words of affirmation, makeup and even hacky sacks for the homeless population in Utica. The bags were given out today by the Center for Family Life and Recovery in collaboration with the Utica Police Department and Aaron's Light. Center for Family Light and Re or Life and Recovery supports individuals or families struggling with addiction, mental health, or behavioral issues by inspiring hope, providing help, and promoting wellness. We plan on going throughout the whole city of Utica today. Um, the Utica Police Department and our recovery peers behind me, um, they, they know a lot of spots where the homeless are hanging out right now, so we're going to be going and hitting every one of those spots and trying to promote some, some wellness and to make sure that people realize that there is hope. You know, one of the biggest reasons we're doing it is because the recovery peers then make a connection with these individuals. Um, and we hold a lot of different um, events, like some social events and stuff. And hopefully each step that we connect with them, we get them a little closer to maybe either seeking treatment or um, seeking some type of help. The Center for Family Life and Recovery does events like these every quarter.